first off, uh, Chad, you've raised what four million dollars? Yes. Okay, and how much of that was from Alan? Don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So tell me. Uh, so a good portion of it. A, yeah. a good portion good. of it. Yeah. All right. So did you have a hard time raising money because you're not based in New York or San Francisco? Right. Well, it, it not not. In the, not really. The uh, you know we we had a lot of traction uh, up front, so a lot of, of our uh, of our of our VC kind of path was inbound. So we talked to a lot of folks, and uh, and then I met Alan um, as we were kind of going through the the, the funding process. Mm -hmm. And because we had traction, hit some really good milestones. Um, I think that. When that happens, it doesn't matter where you are. I think uh, the, the money and the attention will, will flow out. to you. Yeah. So, Alan, what attracted you to this company? Uh, I, I would say what didn't attract me to it. It's a it's a business that has a very good margin. It's got a uh, continuing subscription model where companies who uh, take the service uh, there's a very low dropout, mm -hmm. and it's a continuing thing that just stays with it. Uh, it's growing at 25, 30 percent a month. Uh, it's got a great management team. Uh, they, uh, it's in an area that there aren't too many other people dealing with. This is uh, uh, so far. Basically, you're tracking human resource, like you're a human resource outsource company, right? But what we're doing is we're uh, helping businesses with hourly employees, uh, give them tools and communication tools to schedule and communicate with them. Now, this is all in line with what Steve Case, Alan, who you know very well, is doing. He's trying to raise the profile of companies based outside of New York and San Francisco, saying that there are great startups in other cities. So I want to play for both of you uh, one comment that Steve Case made uh, to us a few weeks ago on his Rise of the Rest bus tour. We're seeing startups develop all over the country, and so we decided to do this kind of road trip through the heartland of America to shine a spotlight on the, on the entrepreneurs in those cities and some of the startups in those cities to attract more press attention and attract more investor interest, not just investing in the usual places, but reaching out to some of these regions that are really showing great signs of, of momentum. It'll be a stronger nation if we have our entrepreneurial ecosystem spread more broadly. But as I had said to Steve Allen, uh, which is what I'll say to you now, is that you might find a, a, a think of this clicks once every five years. But at least in Silicon Valley or in New York, you would find a company like this several times a year. That may be, that may be said, but you know, it's funny that uh, I hadn't at all coordinated with Steve. I didn't know he was on this bus <laughs> tour, but our last investments were in Minneapolis, Indianapolis. We're looking, we'll be in St. Louis in a few weeks. Uh, we just saw a deal yesterday in Nashville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, the adventure community, particularly in the West Coast, on the West Coast in Silicon Valley, we have an office in LA. We don't have that same kind of regional bias. But they've been operating for a long time on the idea we don't want to go outside our area code mm -hmm. or we don't want to go outside our zip code. And uh, maybe they don't need to. Well, uh, there's a lot of competition, and it goes back to what you said a minute ago about the valuations. Uh, I'd have to say the valuations are a lot more reasonable in other parts of the country because people like us are willing to make the effort. It takes an effort. You know, it was a 24 below zero when I was in Minneapolis. Uh, <laughs> in Silicon Valley, they like it to be warm all the time. Well, just quickly, uh, I was in Detroit, Chad, where uh, the big question was, can you attract the talent, though, to work at a startup like yours? Yeah, I think you, you can. Uh, one of the unique things about being not on the east or west coast is there's not a lot of uh, tech startups that are, that are that are starting up. So, but there's a lot of large the Fortune 500 companies that have a lot of talent. So there's less competition among the uh, the tech startup community to uh, to attract talent to a company where they where the talent has their chance to put their 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 mark on what they're doing. Okay. Chad just attracted a uh, someone who starts next week from from San Francisco. So we're we're, oh. we're attracting uh, okay. cash and people from from both <laughs> from both coasts. All right, Chad. Thank you so much, Chad Halverson, and also of course to Alan Patrickoff, the founder and managing director of Graycroft Partners, and Chad Halverson, the CEO of This Click.